Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. Now, welcome back if you've been here before and if you haven't, glad to see you. I hope you can stick around for a while. Today we're going to be making some flip flop tuck kind of page pocket things. All right, so we're going to start with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, I have a neutral uh, double sided. It's fairly thick, um, not thick thick, but thick enough. Um, so we are going to cut this um, and it is a true 12 by 12. So be careful, um, measure beforehand, because sometimes 12 by 12s are like 11 and three quarters by 12. Um, so we are gonna start by cutting um, the true 12 by 12 um, in half to six inches. We are going to make six by four inch uh, pieces. So I'll take my two six inches and, hello, I guess I could cut it down to eight. Cut it down to eight, which gives a four. And then we'll cut it down to four. So we'll end up with six pieces that are six by four. Um, now the size that I determined this from was similar to um, index cards that are four by six. Um, but um, I did not want to have lines on them. Um, so that is why I decided to use this solid card side. But if you've got the index cards that have no lines, this could work um, for you also. Um, so what you want to do with these is um, you're going to end up uh, rounding the corners for them. I am using the largest size. I'm not going to bore you with rounding all the corners. <laughs> Move these to the side. I've already got a couple done. All right, so we are going to start with Two, two of the pieces that are four by six and rounded. Get rid of my corners. All right, so what we are going to do is we are going to take and fold one of them right in half. Try to get that even. Hold that right in half. And it is gonna become, it is gonna lay up on here so that we will have a tuck and a flip-flop. All right, so let's go ahead and ink these. ink a dink a do. Got my vintage photo on. I'm sorry to start using that a little bit. And we'll ink. So how are you today? Hopefully well. Uh, today is um, in real time Labor Day. But I don't think it's going to air for probably a day or two. I forget now. But it is hotter than the Dickens out there. I don't know what happened again. It had cooled down to uh, be a normal temperature for fall. All the leaves started changing. And uh, now the humidity is back up again. And it's a bit of a, a bit of a nastiness outside today. So glad I didn't have any plans for outside. The extent of the plans is my husband's gonna cook burgers tonight on the grill. Okay. All right, so that, that I inked on both sides. I haven't decided which way to flip flop it yet, so um, if I'd have stopped and thought about that, I probably could have saved some inking, but for now I'm just gonna ink everything on here. And I'm just gonna ink the top, because I could glue it down and then I won't see it. Um, or another option is to stick it in a belly band. I can go back and do that. So um, I could do it this way or I could do it this way. And I think I'll do it that way. I think I'll do it that way. Okay. All right. So we are going to take and we are going to um, eventually glue that on. Um, but another step that you can do is you can um, stamp on this to give it a little bit of a texture. Now I have um, things like this, which is a generic -y kind of all over stamp. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, kind of put some of this stuff down. I need my paper. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Pepper. So we decided, of course I decided to put it there. So we're gonna Go ahead and throw some over here. 
to do that. All right, I'll throw a little on the inside. Now the inside is meant to be like a journal spot, so I'm not gonna throw too much inking on here. Just a little bit. options that I have done is um, I have uh, these kind of um, things where you can go ahead and do some spots on things. Actually throw a few on there too if I wanted to. Do some spots on there. There's another option just to grunge it up a little bit. Um, I've, got, I've done bricks on some. Um, yeah. So you can stencil on there or stamp on there just to give that uh, plain paper a little bit more pizzazz. Okay, so now, now that I have ink all over my hands <laughs> and I seem to have lost my thing of wipes. Okay, we're gonna live with it. All right, so um, one thing I thought of adding was, um, I don't know if you saw a video I did recently, uh, my uh, freebie page, freebie uh, video. Um, this was one of the giveaways that I have on my coffee for tiny uh, letters. Um, and I thought these would be kind of cool um, on the front here. I did start cutting a few out here. So let's, let's do, let's do the B. All right, so we're gonna now just rip that off. So these are a great little size to um, decorate uh, decorate with. Yeah, that'll work. They'll rip a little bit more off the bottom though. Yeah, that'll work. I'll ink this. Um, yeah, so these are a great little size to uh, put as a little focal point or a little background tag kind of look. There we go. Okay, we'll glue that down because I like it. I don't. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's cute. Sticky, but cute. Yeah. All right. So we can go, <clears throat> excuse me. We can go ahead and glue this flip flop down. Now we are going to glue these three sides because we want to make sure that it is a tuck. I'm going to hold on to the side. I don't want to have glue. I'm going to have hands of steel and steadiness. <laughs> sure I am. Okay. All right. We're going to do our best to line this up to the edge of the other card. Not too, not too bad, Lisa, not too bad. All right. Okay. Oh, you seem to have shimmied a little. Oh, bummer. Not too bad, okay. So, I got little labels I can add <clears throat> to here, maybe. Tiny little label, little butterfly. Of 
course the closest scissors within hand are big ones. Cut this white off of here. See what this looks like. Yeah, I like this kind of got that same bluish purple on there. Just to add a little bit of something. If I could peel it, there we go. Okay. You put something inside here as a little fun. That could be cute. All right, I'm gonna snip the snip the itty bitty corners off, make it a little less new looking, and throw some ink on there. glue this down. Yeah, it kind of has the same color. I like it. Okay, so um, I probably have some journal cards that would fit in here. If I could find them. <laughs> yeah, those would fit. These are, what, three? Yeah, three inches. Um, since this is four inches tall, it um, gets to be about four and a half, um, space-wise, to put something in there. So something like that would work. Um, you could also, if you have the smaller index cards um, that would fit in there these are the lined ones i've made quite a few uh, tags out of these too so i might be able to track something like that down those fit in there nice um, but it's got a great spot for um, a little bit of a tuck and a nice little place to write something still got a bit of a fold because it's wet but yeah that's cute it um, um is Probably a little big to be glued into a journal. Let me see if I can track down my, there's my B journal. So if we take a regular page, that's gonna be a little bit big. Probably like put it on this side since it tucks. Um, but you could always uh, decorate this part here. That'd be really cute too if you figure out where you wanted to put it. Um, put some sort of, um, stamping that goes you know this way on there as a um, tab and you could glue it the three sides and have um, another pocket uh, going straight down um, into there like that and you have a spot to write and you have your little spot to throw another tag in there that'd be really cute yeah, I like that. Um, the other option, um, if you don't want to have something stick out like that, is to uh, put it into um, either uh, clip it in place. You can decorate it so it's up and down. Um, I've done a lot of pockets that go up and down, um, and I had this, so I decided I wanted to do um, sideways ones. Uh, but you could always take the same concept, flip it on its flip it on its ear, as they say, and have it um, go this way for a. Uh, uh, side tuck, side tuck pocket for that. Um, but this is definitely um, uh, more of what I was looking for. Um, but what I was going to say, if you didn't want to um, duh, glue it down, you could find a belly band. You can find a belly band <laughs> anytime. There we go. Um, you can use a belly band and stick it in there. And yeah, that would work too. Yeah, cute little spots of journal stuff, tags, tucks, etc. Yeah, but I do like that idea of putting it in um, someplace, gluing it, and then figuring out an appropriate um, thing to put back there. Um, in that case, you'd want to go through and 
possibly ink it. Yeah. Super cute. I like it. Okay. All right, so that is the um, first version I have of it where we take the 12-inch um, paper and cut it down to four by sixes. We put the stamp back before I end up losing it. Um, with the well, um, first version with the four by six cards um, cut out from the 12 by 12 paper. Um, so the uh, second version that I thought of um, after I was um, playing with this um, and I thought about the tuck with the index card is um, I have um, my letter index cards that I have been using. Um, but obviously this would not fit in here because this is the exact size of it. So I was thinking of making this, but to be able to fit my ABC cards. So bear with me for a moment here as I track down my piece of paper. There we go. <laughs> okay, so what I, and I have pre-cut this. Um, what I took was, let's start with one of these. Um, I have a uh, 12 inch double sided paper and um, what I did was uh, folded it in half and then that makes it the six inches like the other uh, previous one was but then I cut it down and I could have started um, with the full 12 and cut it down but I had these laying around from my waterfall journal um, I'm going to cut them down to um, four and we'll do four and three quarters. I think we'll four and a half. We'll do four and a half because the um, index cards are four. So that'll leave uh, room to glue. We'll cut that down to four. Save that little strip for something else. Okay, so for this version, we are starting with a piece that is four and a half by 12. Now basically we're going to do, instead of um, gluing, instead of having this cut as a top piece, I'm just going to take this, fold it nice so it stays, and I'm going to fold it back onto itself for the top piece. So it's the same, same structure um, as these with the top, see, pretty much the same. It's just a bit taller than that, but the same size. All right, I'm going to um, round these corners as well. And I'm gonna, oof. Okay, projectiles, I'm gonna have to start wearing safety glasses, I think, when I cut with those. All right. All right, so, but I'll take the one that I had originally thought of grabbed for this project because I've inked it already. All right, so um, inked it four and a half um, by six, did the folds. Oh, I didn't seem to ink this side here. Throw a little ink on there. Now with these, since it's double-sided, oops, if I decided I wanted to um, put it into um, a journal, and it wanted to stick out, um, it's a little more decorated than the blank ones. But I thought this was kind of cool. It folded um, the repeat on here. Isn't that cool? It mar married itself up. I thought that was kind of cool. All right, so um, I'm not gonna do as much stamping on this like I did the other ones because it does have some prints on there. Um, I think I might do the a uh, little bit of the these spots though. <clears throat> I think I do a little bit of the spots because there we go. Throw that a little, a little bit of that on there. Oh shoot. Well, that was not good. Went a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, just went a little crazy, but that's okay. I'll figure out something. Okay, just to add a little bit of texture to it. Okay, get you 
glue out of the way. All right, now for gluing, um, since that's attached, we are just going to glue the two sides with my all steady hand. So the reason I picked it to go this way too was because this side um, was uh, blank for writing uh, more than this side. So this side we can go ahead and decorate some. Now, like I said, if we wanted to, um, these are a perfect size for this, right color. Um, we could do something like that. Um, we can put other kind of, uh, this is a little bit more um, brown on brown, so I am not sure I want to do that. I'm thinking I want to put um, more of a something that's a little more fun, whimsical on there. Well, she'd be fun, right? She'd be very fun. I think we're gonna go with her. Yeah, and I think, well, I just happen to have that sitting there. Too much the same color or just perfect. You decide. back in here. All right, get a little ink on this. It's so hard to ink thin paper, like copy paper. Can I say? You get it. You feel it. Okay, glue time. What time is it? It's glue time. Yo, yo, Lisa. Seriously. Seriously, dude. Like, how many times do I do that in my life? <laughs> Too many. side. Let's put that on the inside. I'm now, I'm now not liking it on the outside. A little too much glue, but there we go. Okay, we got it off. Just a little too much glue everywhere. Petite Crooked Journal. And there we go. So, like I said, I've got these wonderful postcards that I made. Okay, um, so now I have a size that I can fit these cards in if I so desire um, to add them to a journal or just any, any card will do for these. <laughs> I 
got those pre-made ones. These are also four inches. Actually, this one goes pretty good in here, not size-wise necessarily, but um, color-wise, that is for sure. This is crooked. That is probably why it's not cooperating. <clears throat> collage master boards gotta always have that one little piece that decides it wants to pop up on you yeah that's cool I like it so what could I decorate there? Sorry, a flower. I'm thinking about putting those in their own journal anyway, not necessarily using that. That was just an example for size, but too busy. What can I put? What? What can I put? I think. Let's see. Four of the words are better than another picture. Just because that picture of her, we don't want to necessarily go against what she is. against the people. Get rid of the people. How far does this stick out? Alright, by the one. Alright, so if we tuck that in a little bit, have that stick out a little bit. tracked on my little scissors again. I just saw them. I'm just using them too. Alright, so if I put you around here. I really gotta stop doing things out of order. <laughs> is I'm always thinking like 14 steps ahead of myself here. 
And it's not just for videos, it's like me in real life. I'm always thinking, you know, I'm doing something, I'm thinking, oh, what I need to be doing later, what I need to do tomorrow, and that's just years of working as a manager of a store. You always had to be thinking, 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 thinking. What's next? What has to be done? Okay. I am gonna, oh, misprint. <laughs> Back page misprint. It's a shame I gotta cover up that stuff, but this is what happens when you do a master board. Um, and you do something, you just never know what is eventually going to be covered up or what is going to stay. No. Can't be too upset if you cover up your own work, right? I think I'm going to, I think I'm only going to fold part of this over. Change my mind on the fly, as they say. back. All right, and then we'll still put this there. like I could use something there but oh yeah I like how that sticks out cute I think that turned out better than I thought it would <laughs> yeah I like it I'm stuck all right I don't think I inked this card though I will do that spot on the back of that card journal spot in here um, and then when we go and put it into a journal um, it'll show on the page so probably uh, stamp something there or you know maybe even like throw a label or something at some point um, when we decide to put it in if that's how I end up putting it into something. This might actually end up going into my waterfall journal because it's got those same colors. Um, so since they're longer, it would probably be completely glued down and then I would leave room to uh, do a um, uh, tuck on the top or something. So I'm going to hold off decorating that part until I know for sure uh, what it's gonna do. So, all right, well, I think that was quite successful. Fold those, file those back where they need to go. Um, so let me show you a couple of the other ones I did as prototypes while I was um, making these. Get rid of a little bit of this mess. All right, so. All right, so we did, we did that one on camera, first one that we did. Um, and then uh, I did this one's very similar to that's how I started with just the inking and a little decoration. Um, I could probably decorate this a little bit further. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then I did uh, this one. Uh, this is the second one I did prototype. I used the stencil of my bricks, um, a little butterfly. This is my uh, stamped washi tape um, that I have. Got a little bit of the brick on the inside with that. This one, I really like this one. I thought that one turned out really cute. Um, but this is again, the paint, uh, plain uh, cardstock. Um, that I cut the 12 by 12 uh, sheet down from. So we have those, four by six, got more that I can make. And then we got the version um, that's a little bigger, that's four and a half by 12. 
got this one now that I can make. This will be fun because it's got nice little spots right in there. Um, apples, violets, oranges. This will be fun to decorate. Yeah. I think we will decorate that. I think we got a little bit of time. So let me get these out of the way. Let me ink you up. don't need that. I'm gonna do this side though. That's the part that it's gonna get journaled on. Okay. All right, so let's take and get this glue going on here while I look for a couple things to and I have a perfect idea for something. Let me let that sit and dry for a moment. A chance to cut these down but these are some of my uh, digitals that I did in my um, freebie company bell apples that'd be cool let's cut that one out that uh, video was so fun to um, not investigate research um, prepare for I'm going through Pinterest looking for a bunch of stuff uh, freebies I'm telling you that place is a gold mine rabbit hole <laughs> the stuff that you can find on there I mean it's amazing oh yeah that's cute it's amazing how you can put in one search certain amount of words whatever you want to call it and have it um that'd be cool as i saw that in the corner of my eye um put in a search for something i think i'll use my metal same words and then go back the next day looking for something put in the same words and, and you get totally different results even the same day you get totally different results And you hit one button and you go down another rabbit hole. <laughs> so yeah, there's just, I, I mean, I just, I'm a self-proclaimed lover of um, labels. So sue me if I, <laughs> sue me if I found too many labels, right? I just could not help myself. All right, so let's glue the fork knife spoon down. I just gotta find time to sit there and go through them all and um, put on a little angle, that'd be fun. Um, go through them and actually start cutting them. That's my problem. Bell apples, cute. Now uh, I think one little, one little label right in there would make it. Girl, <laughs> that could be fun. Girl, you just say in that accent. Girl, not that that's an accent. I 
might do girl. <laughs> that is just like. I think I'm gonna do girl. Sometimes these things just pop up on the top. Like, I don't think I've seen that before in my little pile. Not that there's not six billion things in my little pile here. Uh, but sometimes these things pop up because they're meant to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Girl. All right. I don't know if this is a sticker. Hello. Hello. There we go. Got a little white on the edge. You know, it's not a sticker. Silky, that was weird. Okay, well, we're just gonna glue it down. I think I got those in a happy mail. That's why I wasn't sure if it was a sticker or not. Girl. <laughs> Too fun. Too fun. And then um, I don't have a card right now that'll go in there, but like I said before, one of these would definitely go. One of the bigger ones. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything with fruit on any of those cards. So I'll have to track another. It'll kind of go in my. It'll go in my to-do pile to find a tag for it, or when I do my tag it, um, tag your it stuff. That could be fun to add. So all right. Well, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I stopped actually to do that one. So all right. Now, now we are going to call it done because I have no more pre-made uh, ones that are out there. So all right. So once again, we got the bigger ones. Cute. Very happy with those. Um, got the smaller ones that I've stenciled. So, a little, like I said, a little flip flop tuck. Yeah. Um, all right, so don't forget to check out my coffee account. Link is below if you want to get the uh, link to get to download these alphabet tags. There's also a um, alphabet journal kit that you can also download with bigger pages. And um, if you haven't checked out my video for my freebies yet, um, definitely go do that. There are some uh, fun, unique things that are out there um, in the world for you to peruse and find. All right, that is going to be it for me today. If you like the video, a thumbs up would be awesome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet um, and like to see future videos, please uh, sub hit the subscribe bell and get notified of future videos as they come up. Um, I do have a collab that will be coming up in October that I'm looking forward to. Um, I'll be posting some stuff soon about that. And that is going to be it for me today. So as usual, I hope you have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.